everybody, and uh, welcome to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I am Steve. And, and I am I... Moist Owlet. And I have Moist Owlet with me. So we, we've done Resident Evil Director's Cut, we've done Resident Evil 2, so now we're going to do the last of the PlayStation 1 trilogy. Oh, is it the last one? This isn't the last of the whole fucking set, it's the last one of the ones that's on PS1. Was there no, like, extras? The, for the PS1, there is Resident Evil Survivor. Which, while it's a, uh, it sounds, it's it's certainly a game. Sounds weird. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, spin-offs aren't going to be part of this whole continuity thing. Code Veronica is, right? Because I know everyone considers Code Veronica to be the real Resident Evil Three. This, this content, they basically, it's about numbered console. I didn't releases. realize how fast these came out because, mm. like. RE1 was nine, uh, 96, 97. Mm-hmm. Then 98 and 99. Then 98 and 99, yeah. This is, yeah. And then when, when did 4 come out? I think that was something like 2004. Really? Yeah, they, 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 that's when they went from being years. That's, that's, to... that's actually a lot earlier than I thought. I thought it came out later than that. Mm. Code Veronica, I think, was 2000. I could be wrong, though. Um, right, we're going to make a choice here. Do uh, Are we going to go on what the... the Biohazard Last Escape would call light mode or heavy mode. I don't know what none of those words you just said. Easy or hard, James. Um, but um, so Steve has told me that he's probably going to die a lot in this. Yeah. So let's if we're going to do this. Uh, uh, I say we go in. We go in. We go in hard. You go, you're going hard. We know Resi Two was straightforward. We didn't have any trouble. So it's time. Wow. Let's do this. Wow, well, you're going. I was going to say easy, but. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> My pride's on the line. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by. Grady's in. Mm hmm. Oh, what? No one did. What, this season or. And that lack of it's the fucking Nazis again. <laughs> Umbrella Corporation. Suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. Ah, uh, yeah. But there would be no forgiveness. Those five frames per second. <laughs> they had the courage to fight. But it's like I'm the first time playing as Jill in this entire it's run through now. The wheels of justice begin to turn. Shit. Oh shit, yeah. It might be nothing. No, we're gonna do the remaster. We're gonna do Isn't remaster. she like the most iconic character in this? Um of the Resident Evil franchise, it's debatable, but I would argue Jill's better than most of them. I I would honestly say She's uh, probably more of a prominent leading lady now than Claire is. <gasps> oh no! So, yeah, those monsters are. Those zombies are pretty good. Yeah, the, for, for 1999. Yeah. Frame rate's a bit slower than it was on Resi 2, but I'll, I'll take it. Go, go, go! Plus, now we find out what happened to the police. Shoot the heads! Wait, right, right. Oh, okay. This is what happened uh, before what happened in RE2. Yeah, yeah, this is like. Oh. For one of a better term, this is a couple of days before what happened in RE2. Right. And the actual. When, when we when game starts, it's the day before Resident Evil 2. Right. Oh, shit. So we're going to go through the whole thing. Mm hmm. So what would you say the gameplay is like on this, like in comparison to RE1 and 2? Is it more like RE2 where it's got alternate endings and you have to play several characters? Or is it like RE1 where it's straight cut, A to B to C? With potential for different endings. It's uh, it's close to Resi 1 in that respect. You go to play as Jill. Oh. I mean, there's a point where you'll switch to another character, but that's part of the plot. You'll only start the game as Jill. There's only one campaign, but there are RNG-ish elements like certain weapons can be placed and enemies can be placed in different places. So it allows for replays to be a bit more varied. Okay. And that's the police have just got fucking tanked. Yeah, they really right did. Time. And now they're going to join the rest of them. I mean, that guy was just shooting into their bodies, not their heads. It's because of fucking amateur hour. You farewell to, to my life, farewell to my home. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. Yeah. That Biohazard Last Escape was the Japanese title for the game. Right. Mm. And we're going to Michael Bay this fucking thing right off. Boom! Just randomly explode out of our apartment, headbutt a car, and we're off! We've got a Primark cropped up on. Yeah. Come on, Jill. Just, just, just shoot him and run. Just shoot him and run. We have Other sweatshop closed doors are also available. <laughs> this is also going to be the first time where we're um, less tied to a building. It's more going from alleyway to alleyway and through separate buildings and stuff. So this is a little bit more open world in that way. I, 
but I, not I, open world. Yeah, I'd say still, it's, still, still linear, but yeah, it's not open, open world when it's not. Right. But it, it feels a bit it's more open. The monsters have overtaken the city. Also, we don't give a shit about rank or time because the, we we're gonna suffer on this it's one. Dot, dot, dot. Mm -hmm. Well, at least they know how, to make, how many ellipses they need to put at the end of the sentence. <laughs> it feels right that now Jill has been left in a fucking cage for all of Resi 1. She's actually doing a game now. <laughs> yeah. She looks badass. Yeah. What do you think you're talking about? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> how dare you come to go back outside? Sounds like the Mad Hatter in fucking Alice in Wonderland. I'm sorry about your <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? Oh boy, hello! Obviously, we don't have the game case, but I'll uh, give you a little bit of lore that's implied before the game begins. Jill basically threw in her badge and literally has not part of the police at the minute. Like, the shit with Irons, he covered it up. Right. You know, Brian Irons, your favourite chestburster. Yep. Love him. Loved him. <laughs> Well, he's technically alive right now. <laughs> so, a few new things compared to the previous Resi entries. We've got the ability to dodge, which I'll have to have an enemy to dodge. <gasps> and it's not intuitive at all. It's like... Um, Fade spray. From what I understand it, you, that in-between animation from going from neutral to having your gun ready, yeah. you press that, and if you can time it right, you'll dodge an attack. Maybe. So, like a parry? Yeah, I guess. It's, it's not... I, I I am no fucking master of it, which is probably why Nemesis is going to kick my fucking head in, but... Yeah. There's a few other new mechanics, but, like, stairs, previously you'd press a button and you'd go up them. But now... <gasps> you just, you know, you just Oh, it. it's got free form, yeah. fucking stair stepping. And, uh... I just spat all over you, sorry. It, a 180 turn. Oh, my goodness. Which is actually really useful. This you know, is... Lara had it from fucking... This is, next, this is next level, Steve. Yeah, but compared to Code Veronica, which is technically the next game that will come up in the series, uh, it's a step backwards because they were developed simultaneously. One for oh, the oh were they? Yeah. Ah. One was developed for the Sega Dreamcast and obviously one was developed for... Uh, that's a thing. What was that? Yeah, yeah uh, well, the delivery voucher book. Oh, that's handy. We need to do that. Vera supports the sword here. Oh, there's a lot of interactables. Okay, anything else? There's a typewriter with a ink ribbon. We need those. Yes. We're going to need them a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, wow, you have eight slots. Oh, yeah, from the off. From the off. Right. Stash that for now. It's a lot of slots. Uh, uh, need the bullets. I love the italic item box font. Let's have a quick look at our uh, new files. So it will explain some of the new mechanics. A game instructions. This explains about various actions, operations on map screen, and operations in the event scenes. Right, we hope to improve your chances to survive. Shooting up, yeah. There's, there's barrels. You can shoot barrels. Right. Welcome to the future. I've done that already. You can Yay! Quick turn. That's what's called emergency escape. Push them away. Press the direction. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Just go. before an enemy attacks, you can perform a dodge move to evade it. Okay. Or press the action button while aiming, which All is right. the fire button. Okay. Get an on-off an object. You can get on and off certain objects that appear in the game. Press the action button while you are. Okay. Why would you want to kiss a brick? Yeah. That seems weird. Uh, map button, yeah. Live selection. Now, this is important. When, yeah. Set points in the game, the screen fades into black and white. At these points, you'd be prompted to choose between two, two different options. Use directional buttons, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, basically, uh, a point where you can choose scenes. Oh, yeah, we can skip FMVs if we die. Oh, skippable scenes. Yeah. Now, this one's probably going to be more prominent to me in the right here and now. Because you notice this strange device. It's yeah. got a reloading tool. The fuck? To load mixed material into an empty bullet. It's used to combine with the gunpowder. Right, so... Oh, fuck. Ah, I need to get used to controls. Ah! This... Oh, instructions on the version of bullets and it explains how the gunpowder and the reloading tool. Yes. You make bullets out of uh, gunpowders, which are, yeah. So there's three different types. Without going too much into it, there is A, B, and C. You only find A and B, you make C by combining A and B. And then you can make very, the, this is your recipe book. C plus C plus C, all right, yeah. C plus C. And the more you make of stuff, you actually gain a kind of hidden integer of experience, which means you can make better bullets. You can make more bullets at first, and then you can make upgraded bullets. Like better quality bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go from... Yeah, basically. 
we make enough handgun ammo, basic handgun ammo, we can RPG make it RPG element! Yeah! I like it! Yeah. Uh, so, for right now, though, I'm going to be tactical, and I'm going to just stash the fucking out uh, the uh, the gunpowder, because the, it, it could go multiple ways while I'm doing with it, so... I don't need it right now. Okay. He says, probably about to get fucking proven wrong. And we'll just hang on to it. Comment in the station below if you think he's wrong. Yeah, well, they'll find out in about 10, 15 seconds. Uh, we need a shotgun. We need it now. Still going to that uh, tried and tested hug the wall. Yeah, oh yeah. Just, just cuddle the walls. Just, you know, just scrape them. All the <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> You've used a warehouse. No, I need this clear. I just got it. How did you get in and out? There's a loading bay for this, but I don't see any shutters or anything. We're, that's a warehouse, apparently. And let's get onto the city streets of Raccoon City proper, which seem to be the tightest streets I've seen in any fictional city that you couldn't get a fucking car Tight? Tight? Tiny. They're Tight. like... Everywhere's like a tiny little, like, council estate avenue in terms of size. No, these are some tight alleyways. Oh, yeah. I suppose uh, this road might be reasonably big. Uh... Everything's gone to shit, Steve. <laughs> um, definitely been a riot or two going on. It's a, it's a party town. Oh. Uh, 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 at least they're, at least they're fairly chill. These zombies, they're not too fussed about fucking us up just yet. I mean, they look like they wanted to fuck you. Oh, I like most of them have this like really weird red textured face, which implies they've had nothing but the melon bit fifteen <laughs> times. Lampshade look like a pimp's hat. Huh? Gotta uh, check this out. <laughs> Which lap shade? Go back, go back. Go, 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 go in. Look at Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Hot dogs! Yeah, now you just gotta pimp slap some zombies. Let's uh, let's open this really ominous looking low res door. <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh, who's that? that? That would be... Uh, you remember the eponymous pilot who lobbed a rocket launcher at the end of Resident Evil 1? No way. That's, that's him. Barry? That, that's Brad. Brad! Bra Barry would have been a Jill... There is... Oh, you lot piss off! Oh, Jesus! Oh, he wanted to vomit on you. I don't like you when I can't see what I'm shooting at. I just... Wow, how many? Why Why can't you have infinite bullets like Lara, Jill? Oh, God. Right, it's just that dude up there. We we, we got this, Jill. You sure? Yeah. It's cool. okay, So can you shoot on the stairs now as well? Yeah. <gasps> they can hit, unfortunately, they can also attack you on stairs. That's cool. That's fine. How many bullets we... I <laughs> don't like how much ammo we haven't got. So I guess we're going to meet him later. You mean Bradley? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, yeah. Brad. Yes, we Brad, are. Yeah. Definitely. He'll be fine. Bradley? <sighs> oh, hey, oh, Bradley. We would have met him in Resi 2, actually, if I'd gone for the... <gasps> That's uh... a shotgun there, Steve. Will, yeah. you, will you take the light oil? oil, oil, oil. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes, I will. That's a shotgun! We are cooking with gas. Yes. Yes. He's lucky he died before his guts ripped out. How do you know that, Jill? <laughs> yeah. so there's like a little label. Yeah. What you don't understand. Died before. What, yeah, what you don't understand is on everything here there's a label. Like a little post-it note. <laughs> like that's what Jill's reading. Cases of drinking water. Okay. We're almost out of ammo on the pistol already. But... Benelli uh, M3S. An easy to carry sawn off shotgun. Use a 12 gauge shotgun. Shotgun. Shot, 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 shot. Shotgun. 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 I got a shotgun. Right. I need more bullets, though. I'm ready to rip some heads off. Or die trying. Green Whoa. herb. Okay, they haven't changed. Still haven't changed the sprite. The no, I don't think that changed it. I think this. I want to say that it's changed in. Um, Shot, the shotgun's definitely changed, so is the Brera. Mm. Oh yeah, this is actually implied to be like an upgraded version of the first game's gun. M92F custom, hang, uh, custom handgun made for stars. <gasps> Use Your favourite word. Parabellum. Parabellum. Yeah, oh. Jill actually looks kind of cross. I like the haircut Wait, though, she just needs a beret. You said that she wasn't stars, but she's got a stars. She kept a gun, because, you know, apparently she just twopped it when she left work. She left stars. Yeah. Right. Yes, sorry guys, I have to rewind to and now I understand. Oh, and he's back on. in the room. And I'm back in the room. Right. We need more herbs though, right? We're still running a little low on herbs. Uh, I mean, since we're on hard mode, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you definitely should do that. If I can get around these guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm don't, going Don't waste to... shells on these folks. Oh, fuck, he's whoa, vigorous. Oh, look at him. He, he, he wants a piece of Jill. Way. Oh, someone's dying, dude. Uh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Uh, Who was uh, that? Th th that was a uh, dead Bradley. Not not the Bradley we know. A different Bradley. What? What? Uh, that was different Bradley. Yeah, there's a different Bradley. We apparently need to go to the bar. <laughs> it's everyone that zombies kill. Are they named Bradley? <laughs> Until we get a name for them, they'll be called Bradley. <laughs> oh, that's Brad two. Yeah. That's Brad three. <laughs> <laughs> Brad three. Ah, 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 I get it. <laughs> oh Jesus, we are gonna die. All right, we have enough herbage I have now. Com I have complete faith in you, Steve. I'm glad someone's got it. You're gonna do fine. Right, oh, it... there's a lot of boys uh, down here. You sure you want to go down there? Uh, we have no choice, but I'm trying to figure out how we do it. Can you, can you shoot two two heads off at once? Three heads off at once, maybe? Whoa! Let's try. Oh. Bam! Oh my god, he's done it! Alright, now okay, surely one shithead's easy enough to get yeah, around. Yeah, get, get him over there and then... Hey! Fucking hell. See you later, Bradley. Sorry, Brad Jill, too. have you got no, like... She has no kind of common sense. <laughs> like, she's just stood there and paused for a moment. Well, to be fair, if we can time that dodge alright, she can elbow barge him occasionally and knock him over. Doesn't do any, like, you can't kill him with it or anything. Oh, what's going on down here? Hey, it's... it's, it's the, oh, it's, it's Brad! It's real Bradley. And there's the... Oh, God. He's the real Brad. Yeah. Yes, I like this. I like that you're not using bullets. This is good. We have no choice. We we, yeah. you know, we could try fighting them off, but... Well, you have a choice. So you've made the choice not to. Yeah. And I'm happy about this. Oh, cutscene. Free! Oh. Oh, my God. He's all right. Brad's got this. Fuck sake, Brad. Get away. He's laying the law down. Don't take no shit, Brad. Yeah. I believe in you. Check his ass. Are you really gonna? He's got this. See? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead though. Nah, he's just tired. He got bite. He got bited. How many people get bit in this game and don't change? Oh, I mean, only the main Why character. And you're—he's not the main character. He is a zombie in Resi 2. Alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Like yeah, as I was saying earlier. Oh, Wait, he's a zombie in level in. Crazy too. What? Yeah, you know, right at the start of the game, um, scenario A, where I said if you don't pick up any items, you can get an out on an outfit. Yeah. Right. To get that, you have to kill. It's the only way for the only way Zombie Brad appears is if you don't pick up any items to get to the police station. And then it's like in the lower like well of the police station, and you kill him, and you get a key to the costumes locker. So he's dead then. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's probably going to die this episode, to be honest. Oh fuck. Yeah. Love you, Brad. We now have a lighter. Hooray! The best of us. So we don't get special equipment in this? Not this one, no. This is the, I think, uh, the only one where we don't have like a hidden like inventory item. Okay. Clock tower postcard. A picture postcard of a clock tower. Okay. The following explanation is printed on the back side. A landmark spot. St. Michael clock tower. Oh, that was a... Uh... That was a file, apparently. Uh, I I, uh, I feel enriched. Having... Steal, steal all the money. Oh wait, close enough. They've got they've got bullets in their till. Yeah, it's yeah. Raccoon City, man. If the zombies are starting to walk around, that deer actually looks kind of way more detailed than everything else. Someone's gonna work on that. Yeah, it's because we um does some good work on that. We're playing the slightly crusty PSN PS3 version of Resident Evil Three. We're so. we're basically seeing it down a magnifying lens, guys. Yeah, like at one hundred and fifty. Where are those guys? They they've gone. They oh oh, there's here. There you go. Don't have to worry about him. But where's the other one? There he is. Oh Whoa. man, how you doing? See you later. Oh, damn jukes though. Damn jukes though. I'm got, scared. You got him. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's demonstrate what those uh, red barrels do, shall we? For the, the people oh, at home. Is this is this there some here? Oh, oh. Whoa! Alright, I, I need you all. What are you doing? To. Because there is like, I'm not going to ammo. Actually, feasibly, I've got just enough ammo to kill all these combats. You're just standing there so they will come towards it. Yep, and then. Oh, we don't want. Yes. Whoa! Michael <laughs> Bay! <laughs> Embrace it! Okay. Are you going to try and kill these? Just drop these guys. Bust a cap in these fools. My god, we've actually got more than one female zombie texture this time. That's fucking mind blowing. Well, it takes like nine bullets to kill each one. Oh, how did you know that one was alive? Oh, it wasn't bled. It hadn't bled out. There are red herbs. Blood didn't bled. Realistically. Have we been hit yet? We haven't no, had one. No, no, not yet. I, Why did you have to say that? I need to come back again. Why did you say that? Because, you know, tempting fate's fun. No. 
Another file. Photo A. The policemen are pressing forward. It's dated September 27th. Alright, that would have been yesterday. That that big blockade battle that you saw. That was the intro, FMV, that, yeah. Yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah. So the, the town's gone to shit. As if we didn't know already. Well, You've got we... so many gerbs. <laughs> There's an item box not far from here. It just means I have to get got to deal with two um dragon dogs, as they are now known. The, the, their new canon name. Dragon dogs. Now, I'm sure they're in this, yeah? But you can see him, look. Very what? barely in those pixels. Wait. Oh, yeah, shit! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they? Are, are, you, are, you, are you coming? Do I have to lure you out? Literally. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you. Woo! <laughs> Flaming dragon dog. Oh no, he's got he's got the big guns out. Whoa! Oh shit! Shotguns work on dogs now. Oh Whoa. my god! You just one shot that dog. Yeah. How did that happen? Are you like some kind of wizard? <gasps> you dodged. Yeah. Dogs are actually really easy. Oh, dogs. Dog, yeah. Dragon dogs are shit in this, dude. <laughs> they ain't got nothing on Jill Valentine's ability to just sidestep to the left. Okay. Gonna hear a fizz? Oh, it's all right. We, we, we're good for that. We do all sorts of bizarre foley on our videos. Right, don't need the light right now. And go back and get those green slash red herbs that were actually red, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Make us some healings, because we're gonna fucking need it in about two minutes. <laughs> so you're wondering why, like... You're probably wondering why, and the people watching are wondering why I am not really saying an awful lot. You're and trying to keep track of where you gave up, aren't you? I am, yeah. I'm Because I played this game way back in 2000, I want to say. When you were a tiny, James. When you were a small outlet. When I... I don't want to reveal my age, but I was not old. And... He was five. <laughs> was million that? years old. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... I remember, I specifically remember a room, and also I'm kind of worried for Steve. Why? Because Steve said to me at the beginning that he's going to get fucked up. Oh, I'm going to get fucked up. You are not wrong. This I... entire playthrough. And, but yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to watch out for this room that I just gave up in. Because I, I remember just going into the room and going, nope. I remember, I, I remember seeing Nemesis. Mm-hmm. And then, it, I think it was chasing me, and then I got to a room and didn't know how to fucking go anywhere, so I, I gave up. I think that was it. That's fair. I think that's a fair assessment. I, 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 it, it, I hope I'm right. All right. First save, because... Ah! Okay. He's done his first save within the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't yeah. know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to test something, because, oh, that's my other save from when I played this, like, years ago. To ignore that. We're, we're on save slot three for viewers' benefit, all right? Okay. Alley. Now, I have pretty much no fucking idea how this is going to go down, but I'm expecting us to die. What's about what I'm so going to do? How much have you played this game? Uh, I, when I was very young, I played it to unlock all of the epi quote unquote epilogue files, which means beating the game about, I want to say, seven or eight times. So you have, you got experience in it. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. really going for it. I am. Wow. This is this is all as an acid test to see if I can actually take what I'm going to be fighting. In so you're, a fight. you're doing right. So you're going all in here. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to make it. Just so you know, I'm not good at this game. I'm not good at fight. I'm not. I'm not good at fighting the titular character we're going to go up against. Let's put it that way. Right. Who I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Just in case you guys didn't know, yeah. he's kind of on the front cover. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, as we would call him, the Potato Man from the previous game, or Mr. X. Uh, a alternate variant. Oh yeah, I best clarify why we're, where we're going here. Obviously, the street's fucked yeah. as usual. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's locked with a simple, simple lock. lock. We need a lock click or lock a small click. key. So we need to kill Claire Redfield. Oh, get Claire's not here yet, actually. Although there is Once a bike. gets here, <laughs> we need to set up a trap, which is why it happened. Jill is to blame. <laughs> no. It wasn't Simon Cowell. It wasn't Sophie Ellis Baxter. It was Jill. She did this whole thing. She did this whole thing. No Chad Chaddington. No Chad Chaddington West. <laughs> no X001. Oh dear. Oh. Butt shot. Oh. This is where he dies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Tall, dark, and Holy gonna fucking shit. murderous. I remember this, yeah. Oh man. Wow. Having your face 
literally fucked through with a tentacle. You just got tentied. Yeah, that. that <sighs> He's just tongue tied, tongue tied. Do, 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 do. Fucking, oh. fucking. Oh. Right, this is an example of live selection. Fight this, with the monster, enter the police station. This particular time, we're gonna go for it, but... Whoa, he's so fast! Yeah, he's faster than Jill. Significantly faster than Jill. Whoa, he's so Get fast! Get the fuck up! Oh, no. Oh, oh come on, not straight away. Right. He's fuck so it. fast. Apparently, you want to oh, what's stay medium range. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I don't know how we're fucking beating this guy. I, I, I beat the game, obviously, but I've never, oh, no, never no, tried to go toe-to-toe no, -to -toe no, with no, 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 he's trying to pick you up. With bare Oh, no, weapons. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> what, what does he do that for? What is he, what is, he's going to try and face fuck. Why does he squish his hand like that? That's Whoa, it. God damn it, he's got such a huge... Ah! He's got such a huge arm reach. No, 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 no. What am I like? No, 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 stop, stop, stop. stop, stop. That's pretty took the other fucking herbs, to be fair. Um, Ooh, why does he do that? I don't... What? You know what? Fuck it. I'm keep gonna... to it. Keep to his left. His left. Keep to his left. Yeah, because he does a big wide arc with his. I get you. I get you. Ah, oh, um, didn't work. Noble plan. Well, it's because you went in front of him. Yeah, it's not easy, I man. Know, I know it's not easy. Oh. 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 Yeah, we're gonna be down to our pistol in a minute. Oh no! Get up, Jill. Oh no! Ah! Die! <laughs> Die! He's like, I like throwing. Yeah, he's, he's not Pretty fucking... young girls. Hey. Oh, you did a dodge! How it's just that? even fucking random chance in my eyes. Come on, Jill, you need to get the fuck up. Get the fuck up! Get up, Jill! Ah. No! Right. Okay. You got two bullets left. Oh! We're not even through fucking first half. Oh my time. god, oh my god. How do you know that? Uh, he's, he's got like a. A knockdown phase. Oh my god, he's so fast! Oh! Right, Nemesis isn't down. I know he's fell over. He's fucking dead, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's it, he's done for the rest e of the fucking game. End the game. No, uh, now here comes the hard part. No, what? What are you talking about? Here comes the hard part. Yeah, I know, right? Oh! Uh. 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 Bastard! Ah, oh, he got you! No, you can't. You can't do it. You can't. You can't kill us. You can't kill me. You can't kill us with Jill Valentine. Just think. This us is like. Wow! 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 This is like. Ah! Uh, got him! Ow! Ah, he punched you straight in the noggin. Oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck! Uh oh, this is where it's gonna be dicey. Get up, Jill! Get up, Jill! Jill, get up! You stupid! No! No! Ah. No! <laughs> We're dropping this ball. Come I don't, on, I don't come know. on, dodge that. Oh, no, 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 we're touching her boobies. Oh! I think I've got it. No. Oh, I don't got it. Oh! Oh! It's, it's happening. It's happening. Motherfucker! Oh, got... no! No! <laughs> no! 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 Oh! Noble effort, but no. Oh, fucking dicks. <laughs> I was doing good, though, right? You were doing very well. <laughs> I did okay. Ah. Uh, it's not from the whole like running into him, but yeah, you did it right. Hey, come on. I'll, <laughs> that dodging shit, I almost had it down. You did, you did. Oh. I think if you did it again, you'd probably do it. <sighs> All but right. I don't know if we should do that because of the gameplay. That's the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna defer to the comment section below. <laughs> <laughs> so like... Okay, all right. There is boons to beating him, though. There is boons. You do get things. I right? imagine so, because that's fucking hard. Yeah, that yeah. guy is difficult. If you can drop him every single time and every opportunity you get, there is like 13 little items will drop for you. The first, I think you get two guns out of it, and then um, play through one, you get an assault rifle, like you know the SMG we got in the previous game. Yes. With a percentage. And every mode after that, you unlock infinite ammo for a particular gun. But I think in this particular case, because Steve is crapping his pants a little, and I, yeah, I'm, um, oh, fuck. All right, we'll get one more crack. All right, I can hear the, the crowd going, you know, fuck him up, fuck him up. <laughs> bastard. Evil. Absolute colossal bastard. Knob. Still, I think that makes up for not dying at all in Resident Evil 2, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dying twice. Uh, They're taking everything from me. But I would give up, I would allow them to win. 
you know, feel free in the comments to go, oh, Steve's shit, he can't beat this game, because, yeah, 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 I, I deserve that. Steve's a bit shit at this game, guys. Yeah, yeah. He, fuck, fuck, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you, you. I mean, we, they, you know, we didn't pretend it. No. <laughs> at the beginning. You know, I could dodge zombies. But I imagine later on... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I'm going to need some bullets. I imagine later on, like, you get better equipment. Yeah. So you can take him out. Yeah. I mean, there's, there are masters of the art of beating Nemesis' ass. You know, I've seen people beat that fucker with a knife without getting hit. Comment, comment in the section below if you've beat Nemesis with a knife. Without getting hit. Without getting hit. No, no, just beating him with a knife. Because, like, oh, I was setting the bar that low, huh? What do you, huh? Mean, what do you mean that low? Okay. Are you, are you watching the same fucking <laughs> Guy was a beast. Yeah, he, he, he ain't no fucking Wow, well, they have books here. Books. 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 Alright. Could do with a shower. Wash off the sweat of sadness. Ugh. Right, so we're going to say hi to Brad. Bye we're, to Brad. We're running away now. We're going to just run into the police station. I hope for the fucking best. Unless you want to try and drop him to his knees and then run away, because you said that the damage persists, right? Yeah, but it's... Unless you can take him out in that, like... Will it be inconsequential for later on? Yeah. Alright, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rip Brad. Okay, let's go. Guys, the FMVs are so much better for us. Yeah. Now, I've noticed as well. Okay. Before one, they were very like shredded wheat. Yeah. Now we're up to the police station, okay? Don't judge us. Pussy, pussy, pussy. Yeah. Pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> pussy. The best part is because obviously you only have a set amount of time to make a decision. If you leave it and just idle like a fool, he comes through. He just hits you. Ooh. No, you can't come from those doors. I just went through. Yeah. Welcome back to the RPD, everybody. Um, Yay! Don't worry, we're not going to be here that long. You know, as much as we like Resident Evil 2, because we know Steve likes Resident Evil 2, we're not going to be what? here that long. What I know, right? I know, right? There's a whole fucking Let's Play. Go back and watch it. <laughs> oh, Please do. It's really good. It's really funny. Yeah. We, we worked hard on that. Okay. Oh, that's the thumbnail for episode one. Is it? Oh, your thumbnail. Ah, I see. <laughs> oh, that fucking uh, groin fan is still there. <laughs> Right, uh, for the sake of argument, there's only only like the uh, part of the east wing. Sorry, where west wing? West wing? Yeah, west wing. Part of the west wing of the police station's available. I'm, I'm crap with fucking jobs. I don't know where the, the compass is on this. So. All right. All right. Um, for the sake of argument, there are rooms, but as it's the day before, hmm. some bastard has gone Lock and board them up. Right. Okay. And yet they don't look like they've been boarded up in the next step in the next day. Well, you know, I mean, for example, here, like we're just here. Boarded up. Any areas that aren't the main route. Ah, exposition wooden boards. Mmm. Convenient plot contrivance wooden yeah. boards. Dickhead boards. Mm. And now, we enter the room. The room? The room. What's happening Someone here? Has Someone has made quite a mess in here. It sounds like a fucking party on the side of the room. There is some party hats on the, t on the table there, I just noticed. Or they're wizard hats, I'm not sure. Could be wizard hats. Get them. Get them. You'll have magical spells then. <laughs> magical powers. Thinking we, um, if we're going to be running from Nemesis, I don't have to worry too much about. Oh my god, I love that. It's not actually a sawn off. It doesn't look like one. No, it's just a cut down. But it says it is. <laughs> Come on, bunch up, bunch up. That's it. <sighs> oh, we don't want to. We want vanilla milk. We have a zombie union. Shit. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, look, look at those wizard hats. This because it's been Leon's first day party. Oh, hey, it's Will Smith. Uh, yeah, Marvin. Marvin Browner. He has been, uh, I believe he has been... Yeah. It's RPD officer Marvin Browner. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. So what, he's dead? No, 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 he can't be dead. He's just wounded. Marvin's report. Okay. <laughs> Are you doing it? No, no, go for it. I was going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Report, September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the municipal. I never know how to say that. Yeah, muni say. Mu mu municipal. Municipal yeah. building before dawn. A jewel. I can't remember what this guy sounded like, so I'm not even going to try. Just remember to go and, oh, oh, in between everything. A jewel decorated clock. No, that's going to take forever. <laughs> jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that I installed on the face of the clock are missing. Not the gems. <gasps> Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice 
but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marv. Report, blah, blah, blah. Based upon an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I've discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where it's about to sh he was, where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to su suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. Signed, Marv. So yeah. There's apparently a locked gate in our future that requires gems. A locked gate in your future? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What does it say? Michael Festival. September 29th? That's tomorrow! It's the Michael Festival tomorrow! Michael oh Festival. no! What the fuck is a Michael Festival? That sounds like the most boring festival <laughs> I've ever heard of. Okay, what's this? Kit Kat bar? No. Blue gem! Will you take the blue gem? Will you take it? Yes. <laughs> Will you take it? Alright. There is, I believe, a thing that's locked. With a simple, yeah. And memory serves, we're gonna need to get in here. It's locked with a number, base lock. Uh, First digit. Uh, I'm gonna go on a gamble, because there's only so many codes it can be. Fuck. Ah. No, I don't remember any of the codes. <gasps> Steve, you can't remember the codes? No, it's random, it, it, it's like a random pool of so many codes. And I oh, it's remember. RNG. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it, it's not that simple. Oh, hello. Oh, what? It's that same... No, it's not. It's a different zombie. It's Caitlyn Jenner. She's just staring us down. No, is she alright? No, no. She, she, she a dodgy one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> she literally did the zombie <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> they are a bit goofier, aren't they? She put her hands up. Oh, she's trying, oh shit. There's more she's trying to doggy paddle the air. That's a door. That's a door, yeah. Come okay, on. Freddy Krueger's coming at you. This gun sounds piddly, doesn't it? It does a bit. Does it get better? Yes. When it's got the enhanced rounds, it sounds much more... Um, Poofy. Intimidation-y. Any more of you fuckbags? Yes! So many fuckbags! Oh, yeah, there Whoa! is one. I love the hands. Look, the jazz hands and the... Yeah, because they didn't, they didn't do that in the last one. No, they're a bit more robotic, weren't they? Yeah, just, I love the, the hands. <gasps> okay. Oh. No. David's memo. I believe David was voiced by um, an Italian plumber. In the previous. Oh, was he? Yeah. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Maya, one of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once, but we are overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. <laughs> I can still hear him calling my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind. The sound of his flesh being stripped from his bones. I was afraid. Terrified. Wow. I cannot be live without you by my side. <laughs> it's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey. Or loading my most book on anything on them. Mario drinking whiskey. <laughs> Let the shotgun become a close friend of mine. I blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. <laughs> We've lost 13 men as of yesterday. American count? Yeah, apparently. In the three hours, we'll bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning into one... turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. That implies that, uh, quote unquote, Mario is going to kill himself, which is kind of sad. Yeah. I mean, just look at the picture of Mario. I mean, he looks like he's going to kill himself. He doesn't look that bad all the time. <laughs> he had a one. He had a whale of a time in this planet. Suspic Nothing suspicious. <laughs> this planet suspicious, Jill. There's like zombies worming the streets. That's where we found Rebecca Black. Oh, the the, 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 the dodgy photo. Yeah. yeah. Anything the else in this rat dodge? <laughs> Why Wesker has that in his desk? Nobody knows. That's typical Chad. Typical Chad. Right, let's get Jill's ID card. We need Jill's ID card to progress. So, I believe that's in the um, Jill. I know the struggle. Briefing room. <laughs> she needs to find her own ID. Card. Oh shit! Ooh. Um, excuse me, sir. Hey. Oh. Dodged. See, I can dodge zombies, right? I just can't fucking fight Nemesis. Yeah, because he has a bullshit fucking bonus action dash, apparently. <laughs> and enough HP. Oh. 
It's cool, we don't need to go down there anyway. Okay, okay, that's fine. There might be items down there, but I'm not risking it. They have to go through six zombies for like a single fucking herb. But so the items in this, are they random drop as well? It, there's like set things that can appear in set places, you know what I'm saying? But it's a choice of like, this room could have three packs of hand ammo, or it could have some shotguns, or it could have some shot ammo, it should have some herbs. We, did we put the light away? Doesn't matter, you can't burn that for no reason. Get a jam a day early and fuck up Leon and Claire's game. Will you take the, the stars card? Yes, we Stash will. Stars guy. Stars guy. It's because you know it's Jules. Why was that? Why did that? Oh, it's because she. You know, you can you can imagine the scene. She like you know. Hey, I went through this weird shit in a mansion. Okay, I quit. Throws card on desk. Swaggers out like a baller. Um, <laughs> anything else? There's a cannon machine. You'd think vending Calendar, machines. Calendar, there's a most wanted. What stops any one of these games just pick up a fucking chair and hit people with it? I don't know. Oh, I know, right? That's uh, always been kind of a pet peeve of mine. Like games. Uh, the wrestling. I, I kind of want to see what's down there, but at the same token. Go, go back. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. There's two many. Oh, wait, can I get. Hey! Can I get four in one? No, let's not risk it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to need these bullets, okay? Let's save them. Yeah. All right, all right, right. We're in hard mode. We're on a game you've not, you've only comp completed about eight un times, just under ten times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, compared to the close to a couple of hundred in Resident yeah. Evil 2's case. Yeah. All right, so let's just be easy, like a Sunday morning. Let's take this cautiously and carefully and terrifiedly. It's nice not knowing what's going to happen though, because enemy placements, just like the item placements, are also spontaneously different. That's good. that's cool though. Yeah, I, like, I can't. I like RNG in single player games. Mm. Like that's why I like uh like Diablo and like uh Path of Exile for instance. I think like, that's why I think that's why Resi Resi 3's got a lot of um it's got a lot of dedicated fans. Not as many as say like 2 or Code Veronica or 4, but it's got fans and I can see why. Right. That's our code. 0513 0513. Right. Due to the emergency the key to the stars office has been moved to the evidence room, which is what we've now announced. 0513 Zero five one three. Thank you. You've noted it down on your phone. Yes. <laughs> right. The future is now. <laughs> I'm also going to screenshot. It. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to need the code that fucking long. It's only a room away. Wait, it's not screenshot. Are you just punching your phone now? No, I'm knuckling it. That makes it screenshot. Oh, okay. You knuckle your phone. I did not know. You that. ever knuckled something, Steve? Uh. You've not lived. Uh, Do you want to knuckle my phone? <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. All right, okay, let's get this. If I remember right, the stars key is very ostentatious. Yes, it is. It's got the fucking stars logo on it. Holy shit, yeah. yeah <laughs> it's, like, it's not very subtle. Yeah. Wait, so you got the key while I was doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, the, the code. You don't need it now. I told I you, it's fine. It you can anymore. delete it now. Okay, it's right. fine. Oh, you're not cross, are you? That's deleted. Okay. Get past this guy. Oh god, he's, he's got some swagger to him this time. Unfriended, unliked, unlifed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me drop off some items because I don't know what I'm going to find upstairs. So I'm trying to keep room. Okay. Makes sense, right? We don't need yeah, it does, yeah. Do we need that anymore? Like the stars card? Uh, not the card, I don't think. We've got the key. That's all we needed it for. Scars guard. Yeah, scars, 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 scars guard. The scars guard. Scars guard. Asgard. <laughs> You're right, fella. You know what? Okay, since you tried so he's hard... Like, he's like the corridor zombie from number yeah, one. You know, um... Oh, I'll let you live. You took his dick out. Yeah. Just blew his fucking legs out. I'm pretty sure that actually still kills him. Technically. Right, if they're impeded anyway. Are you judging the stairs, James? Okay, they're a bit better. They're a bit better. They're a bit better. Hey, he's okay. a chubby one. He doesn't wanna... He doesn't want any of it. These, those guys are just excited to be... Oh! Makes it's the fucking... It's the group Brown Shirt Society. <laughs> it's UPS. Yeah. <laughs> We're here to deliver our teeth to your neck, please. <laughs> We're here to deliver death. Anyone here? Hello? Like, this is a liquor corridor. Anyone here? Right. Anything? Loot? Fuck me, let's ball off as well. Oh my god. <sighs> I like the little details. Like, there was a handcuff on the wall that was there. Uh... Yeah, implies someone might have been compromised and they try to keep them attached to the wall and then they broke free. Yeah. yeah environmental storytelling. Oh. The music every now and then it keeps going, there's like just like one bang of the drum and it makes me think something's happening. 
Marksman contest winner. Who was that? Chris, Chris Redfield. Redfield. Mm. I've seen him shoot in. <gasps> Actually, yeah, he's kind of trick shotty with the shotgun. He, yeah, he really did. Yeah. Like, he fucking wanted that shit. It, ah, bullets. We, 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 we like those here. He bent them. He bent time and space. It's the desk Around of Chad Chaddington, captain of stars. Fuck you, Chad. Yeah, Chad Chaddington Wesker. Okay, it's the desk of Chris, a starish team member. It's organ. It's disorganization probably reflects the owner's personality. What are you going against Chris? He saved you, didn't he? They've just reused a lot, haven't they? Of uh... to this area, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, a lock pick! It's a lock pick. Yay! You'd make better use of it. Nice. We don't need to have small keys anymore. No, Jill just in the even in the remake. I think uh, Jill's lockpick still facilitates the same purpose as Smokey. <gasps> oh, yeah! Oh, we got Magnum! Yeah, that means I did a good when I was combining the ammo. Um, really? Yes. I what? mean, technically I could have made more Magnum ammo, but... Ooh. We have a message. It starts headquarters. <laughs> Thunderbirds are go. Thunderbird 1, are you ready? Okay. This is who? Carlo, apparently. Carlo. It's not Carlo. It's just it, it cut him off. We have one other bit of information. Facts from Kendo Gun Shop. To the boys of stars. I have some good news for you from my brother Joe. Yes, find lines of new handgun for their official use. It is the M92 F-Star Special. But he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns. Joe said, if you missed the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. <laughs> Roshi? <laughs> no, that isn't Roshi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go. <Cool. laughs> the goods we would need along with their proper documentation. Oh, uh, with proper documentation. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts are used during the M92 here. I know that you'll want to think the good people who developed it. <laughs> Sincerely, Robert Kendo. Oh, it's old Robbie. Kendo gunshot. Kendo gunshot. Okay, right. Here's the plan. Mm. We've got the we've got the lockpick. Mm. We should probably go for a cup of tea, but we're going to go to the save room first, and then we well, got a magnum. We have a magnum this early on. Are we not meant to have that? No, it, it's an RNG whether you get the magnum <gasps> or a grenade launcher. Now the grenade launcher. I would prefer the magnum. Um, yeah, they're, they're both good. They're both good, don't get me wrong. That what was that? That wasn't a good sound. Um, that was definitely but, something smashing through yeah. a window. Shit paneling. Yeah. Going um, down, I can see it. You remember that window there? Yeah. You remember how it was intact in Resident Evil 2? Prepare to embrace your inner continuity errors. Oh, because he's here! Hey. Get on him up! And we're going to going to tangle with that fuck bag next time. Okay? <laughs> I ain't got the stamina for it now. Um, so, yeah. This has been part one of Resident Evil 3. I've been Steve. And I've been Moist Owler. Tune in next time for Jill Dies by a Rocket Launcher. <laughs>